now, realistically, the most we can probably expect is for another park to license Tolkien's work for incorporation into their existing theme park, with only space for one actual ride. And if that's the case, I think the best use of that one ride space is a dark ride based on The Hobbit. The book, not any of the filmed adaptations. Yes, I know, book report rides are frowned upon, but if we're working within the limitations, think of how many scenes from The Hobbit would make great vignettes in a Fantasyland-style dark ride. You'd board the vehicle, you'd round the corner and see Bilbo opening the door as the dwarves tumble into Bag End. Then you turn into the kitchen to see the dwarves chipping the glasses and cracking the plates, like this shot from the cartoon in the style of this animatronic from Pirates. Then you turn to see a projection of the silhouettes of the dwarves and Bilbo riding off into the adventure, Seven Dwarves Mine Train style. Then you ride through the giant animatronic trolls that, thanks to projection mapping, turn to stone around you. Then you swing through Rivendell where you see Elrond reveal the moon letters on the map, kinda like an inverse of the Lampwick transformation on Pinocchio. Then you duck into a crack in the Misty Mountains where you're surrounded by orcs, but you escape down a dark tunnel where you see Bilbo pick up a ring. Then you go down the tunnel where Gollum chases a Pepper's Ghost Bilbo who disappears. Then you pass through a clearing with the company up the trees as orcs and wargs set them on fire, but you see the eagles start to swoop down above you. And then you turn and see the eagles hanging overhead carrying the company to safety. Then you turn into Bayorn's lodgings where you see everyone gathered at the feast. Then you exit and enter the dark, narrow path of Mirkwood, move through some Snow White-esque scary trees for a while, filled with Forbidden Journey-esque spiders hanging above you until you end up in the Wood Elves' dungeon, but you escape through the river path and ride alongside the barrels floating down the river to Lake Town. Then you see the thrush knock and the last light of the setting sun of Durin's day projects the keyhole on the door, then the door swings open into the Lonely Mountain's secret tunnel, through the treasure hall, around a shining Arkenstone on a pile of gold, and past a giant animatronic Smaug looking for you. Then you leave the mountain and see Smaug destroying the lake town via projection effects, but Bard shoots him down with the Black Arrow. Then you pass through the Battle of Five Armies, orcs and wargs attacking dwarves and elves and men, and finally you find yourself back in Bag End with Bilbo writing his memoir, and you exit the ride into the Bag End Auction gift shop. Ooh.